We're here at another instance of Naika land. This is basically a physical manifestation of the community that has been built of beauty and content creators when it comes to beauty and skincare. We're here uh, with us is Falguni Nair. Falguni, you know this uh, community that you've built is, can that be called as a moat for Naika? Because there are brands, but communities that surround the brands are ones which have the most amount of love for the brand. Yeah, I think we've always felt that uh, the beauty enthusiasts and the customers who love beauty and fashion have always loved Nykaa for what it offers. It's been from the beginning built as a, what is, you know, we bring what is best for the customer. And I think very often customer wants to experience what, what the best of the world has to offer, or what are the latest trends. And you'll always see at Nykaa, whether it's in our store, whether it's in our app, or even at Nykaa Land, it's the best collection of all the brands and all of the education that comes together. And I think we go above and beyond to, to build the industry in that sense. And that's what consumers love. And from what you did last time to now, post the, the Nykaa Land, would you have any metrics to suggest how effective something like this was? I think Nykaa Land as a property got more than 40 billion views across the social media and all of the ecosystem of Nykaa social media, but all, all the influencers who are putting all the content onto their uh, channel, I mean, in their, um, on their uh, social media channels, as well as what we saw with all the consumers, all of the posting that consumers do. So when you total it up, last year it was measured as 40 million, a, a billion views wow. that we got. So I think it's a very, very big property, very well loved. And I think um, it's very Instagram friendly, as you can see it. <laughs> so I think this year also it's going to be a blockbuster success. I think it just opened at six and the kind of crowds you've seen is just insane. So what's the typical crowd strength that you're expecting over the next three days? We're expecting about 20,000 visitors over next This compared days. to 15,000 last yeah, year, so this is a good jump. Yeah, about 15,000 last year, so. Can we say the same of your revenues this year as well? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> 35% no, jump. I think the enthusiastic visitors, we always say that invest in right customers and over time, you know, you'll, uh, you'll bring more into the play of beauty playground, fashion playground. And as more customers come and, you know, enjoy beauty, enjoy fashion, which is a big need in India, then you can, you know, obviously many of them will shop at Nykaa. Right, you know, uh, speaking about the customers itself, there is a wave of lull in consumer sentiment. We've seen that from a lot of these consumer companies that have reported their numbers so far, and the commentary, more importantly, that they've given as well. Um, Nykaa, of course, caters to a different niche, but at some level, have you felt some sort of consumer lull? No, I think definitely for beauty and already now with the season setting in, like starting with October or just before that, we've found that both beauty and fashion are showing a pretty good growth. Uh, reasonable growth is what I would say. And uh, it's in line with expectations, though fashion could have been a little better. Fashion could have been a little better. What do you think are the determinants of this weakness that we are seeing in fashion or just general consumer sentiment? <clears throat> I think um, everywhere it's about what consumer wants. Right. And are you catering to what the consumer is looking for? So if you look at beauty, we do believe that there's an entire premiumization trend and there's a lot of personalization, what is good for me? And I think beauty is just exploding, like the number of right. brands that are coming into play, international brands, D2C brands from India, and each one of them is solving a problem for a particular customer, bringing a lot of great ingredients and uh, you know formulas into the making. I mean, today uh, you can see that every year Nike is bringing new brands like there's Eucerin this year right. and so many of the brands that have come for the first time in India. So I do feel that Indian customers are very uh, lucky because a lot of global beauty brands now want to be in India. And we're seeing the same, uh, same process start even in fashion. So I'm quite uh, enthusiastic that going forward fashion will also see a good. I, I do believe that supply creates demand. Okay. And I think supply has been lacking initially in beauty and I think Nykaa changed that. And I think even in fashion, as we bring great supply into the country, I'm sure the consumer will rest. But increasingly, there's a lot more supply coming in by the form of some other players looking at this space as well. How, how do you course, look at that? Of course, we do how believe do you... that competition always helps grow the market faster. And uh, I think we've always uh, approached the market not from catering to the ready demand, which is what many people do. Right. Whereas we are creating demand, like Nika has always worked on education with a view to um, you know, to get consumers to understand beauty and create demand for beauty. So whether it was beauty bars earlier, whether it is uh, Nykaa Land now, or even a number of uh, like beauty awards, you know, that we did earlier this year, 
So we do a lot of work towards educating the customer of towards beauty and, and I, I think that's the best way because consumers start with consuming four beauty products and then they graduate to consuming maybe 40. All right. And very I, often, you know, people are just trying to grab that lowest denominator of consumption. I have to ask you two questions before I let you go and enjoy the event. The first one is that in the world of quick commerce, is Nika looking to dabble in it? Because, you know, while beauty is an important uh, need, you're also, uh, it, it's quite impulsive. I feel like buying something. I, I, I want it right I now. Think, I think, uh, in my opinion, quick commerce um, is, uh, I, I don't know about quick commerce and what quick commerce means to you, but as far as it is considered more express delivery to our customers, getting our consumers uh, product faster is something Nika is definitely doing. So we have gone public saying that our deliveries have improved by 45% last year. We've also said now in top 100 cities, we deliver 60-70% of our orders by next day. And we right. define what they're But there are people who are doing it in 10 days, right? No, so, but or 10 they are, minutes rather. Uh, no, but they are, uh, the, what they're delivering is a much smaller set of SKUs and much smaller set of cities. And that's so, expanding, which is why I wanted uh, to know if I mean, it's not really considering... expanding. I don't know whether it's expanding because beauty and personal care has always been bought from neighborhood stores. It's right. always been bought from pharmacy. So you can say, yes, a physical online, I mean, offline demand is moving online. But um, is it new demand creation? And demand creation happens by building brands, building brand discovery. So I think the point is that we will definitely have more focus and we already have and we will continue to build on getting our goods to our consumers faster. But we are not solving for top three cities or top 10 cities. We are really solving for all of India, which is where our demand comes from. And also we do business in 150,000 SKUs plus. Right. So we also need to solve for much lar larger range of products. Hey, thank you for watching this on CNBC TV 18. Hope you liked it. For more such interesting news and updates, follow CNBC TV 18 on all the social media platforms.